When we talk about illumination levels, we often encounter a problem whenever we want to explain the scale. So here Henrik is going to compare it to other values that we use every day, such as time, speed and temperature. And hopefully it will clarify why it sometimes is so difficult to talk about the right illumination levels. Hvorfor vi nogle gange har så svært ved at tale om de rigtige belysningsstyrker. Forskellen på hastigheder kender vi jo godt fra, når vi kører bil. We all know the differences in speed from when we're driving. Usually, we work in the area from 0 to 110 or 140 km per hour on the highway. If you're going really fast, you go around 200 km per hour. Så kører man måske 200 km i timen. So on the subject of speed, we're used to work within the boundaries from zero to approximately 180 km per hour. Other than reading the speed indicator to see how fast we go, we can also feel it when the car is shaking, we can hear the noise from the engine and all the other noises that tells us that we're driving fast. And now we're going even faster. Every morning, Henrik goes to his kitchen to look at the thermometer. It is a glass tube that contains mercury. And today he can see that it is 27 degrees outside. Thermometer has its outer points from minus 50 degrees Celsius to plus 50 degrees Celsius. Most humans think that plus 40 degrees is way too hot, and likewise is minus 20 degrees too cold. So a day like today with plus 27 degrees is very pleasant. So what's the time? It's 8 minutes past 9. We all know how to tell the time on a clock. We know that a full calendar day is 24 hours and that we work approximately 8 hours a day. Usually we believe that one minute is a short period of time and a second is even shorter. We are impressed when 100 meter runners goes below 10 seconds because that's distance over time and that give a, gives us a clear impression about how fast things are going. We talked about what we do when we need to measure time, speed, distance and temperature. But what about measuring light? This is a lux meter. It contains a photocell which measures the light that hits the white spot. Furthermore, there is an amplifier and a measurer. When Henrik turns it on, it can measure lux values on a surface. Just place the photocell and measure. So simple that is it. It looks made a very very nimble to work with, because you just place this here tinged photocell where you want to know how much lux there is, and then you place it on the display how much lux there is. Now Henrik is going to measure a lot of different things, so he can compare them to each other. Nu har jeg taget luxmeteret her med ud i haven. Now Henrik has taken the luxmeter into his garden. He would like to show us the difference between light and shadow. Herover, der er der både lys og skygge, og nu går jeg over og viser jer, hvor jeg har tænkt mig at måle. Nu har jeg så lagt luxmeteret her ude på græsplanen, imens solen skinner på det. Now Henrik has placed the luxmeter in the sun, and let's take a look at the values. It's approximately 48,000 lux. Remember that when he places the luxmeter in the shadow. Nu har jeg rykket luxmeteret en halv meter, så det nu ligger inde i skyggen. Og nu må vi prøve at aflæse, hvor mange. Henrik has moved the lux meter into the shadow, so let's take a look at the values now. 
Værdien på luksmeteret her er... The value is 6,870 lux. Det må vi lige kigge lidt nærmere. Let's have a closer look at that. Nu har vi kigget lidt på forskellen mellem direkte solskin og skyggen. Som I måske kan huske, så havde vi 48.000 lux. We looked at the differences between light and shadow. There were 48.000 lux in the sun and about 6,800 lux in the shadow. That is almost seven times more light in the sun than in the shadow. That harmonizes with the idea that if we want to make a spot, we need around eight to ten times more light in the spot than in the dark. A well-defined shadow is approximately ten times weaker than the light. Ja, nu er jeg så taget herud til stranden, hvor det blæser og larmer en hel del, men til gengæld så har... Now Henrik has gone to the beach, where there's a lot of noise from the wind, but there's also a totally free influx of light from the sun. Lige nu ligger lyksføleren hernede på sandet og måler en værdi på... He has placed the lux meter on the sand, and the value is 52.600 lux, measured vertical. Men det lys, jeg får lige i ansigtet lige i øjeblikket, er langt, langt kraftigere. The light that hits Henrik's face right now is much more powerful. Fotocellen her, og hold den op. So when he takes a photo cell and holds it up perpendicular to his face, you will see that the values are much higher. Så vil I kunne se, at den ligger her på knap 100.000 It's about 100.000 lux. Det er altså det maksimale lys, vi sådan kan hente sådan en dag. That's the maximum light on a sunny day in Denmark. He gets a full energy from the sun right in the face. Jeg holder føleren vinkelret på solen, og jeg får den fuld energi fra solen lige i mit ansigt.